Hey, just a very quick first look at the uh, VEX IQ. Um, it's all set up in your brain, so you can go to uh, just your devices and you'll see the pneumatic there. Uh, each of these will have three settings, whether the air pump is on, and if cylinder one and two are extracted or retracted. Um, so the solenoid goes directly into the brain, and then this can turn on a pump if it's connected. If you have more than one, you'll probably have just one pump on your bot, though. But maybe you have two if you have more than one set. Ooh. Okay, so let's turn the air pump on. And the air pump, I don't really know when it hits the 30 PSI. It just kind of keeps going. It doesn't turn itself off, but the hum gets a little louder. Or, you know, you just hear it a little better. And then the amount of force, I can push it in with my finger, although it's definitely, it's definitely forcing it out. Now I can go ahead and extend and retract it a few times. So just do that on the brain. So I'm using, only using cylinder one. And then every time I run it, you can hear the pump as it retries to fill it up again. I can put that little band around it real quick. Give me a sec. Okay, just to give you an idea of the strength, it's supposed to be extended. I doubled up a number 64 over band and it's holding it in that much. So it's not a ton of force. You see, you can barely stick it out there. So it's not, you know, going to replace a motor, right? But if you have something over here and there's not much force against it and you want it over there, this will definitely do it. Um, no VRC, maybe like a PTO kind of thing, but this won't really give you a ton of power. This is, of course, the shortest one, but the longest one will go further, but still it's only about 30 PSI max.